So, Rayer taught the Dark Elves how to train Gulan to pull a sled? More likely, he showed them how they could be trained to pull a plow. He is the god of the harvest, after all. Seems they found new uses for the pups after Freya left, and their fields went fallow. I guess sledding around is easier than flying during a sandstorm. Lad, am I right in getting the sense you've actually gotten to know Thor's daughter somewhat? Yeah. Thrud's great. Wants to be a Valkyrie one day. And she deserves to be. Of course, I told her all about the Valkyries we faced. But I'm not sure how much she believes me. They didn't go great when I tried to tell her stories about her grandfather, though. Anyone can have a blind spot when it comes to family. Some only learn the truth in the hardest way. Uh, it's Throod who you meant when you asked about Viking. Throod? No. I mean, I wasn't asking about anyone ah! specific. And, well, Skilder likes Throod. But she's only interested in becoming a Valkyrie. She's focused, you know? Oh, very well, lad. Very well. Just hope you know if you ever need to review anything we've discussed. Uh... <laughs> I know. It's good. I'm fine.
Flower here. A dawn bloom, maybe. Yet another sleeping beast, the handiwork of Alvi Stonefoot. What else do you know of the mask? Only that it was the great passion of Odin's life. He journeyed across Agia's burning ocean into the heart of the silent matron herself to find it. Lost every man in his crew, but to hear him tell it, it was worth all that blood and more. Mimir, Odin's mask. How do you hear about it in the first place? He said a voice spoke to him one night, entreated him to collect the mask and control his own fate. I still think it's all a bunch of bollocks. Odin got drunk, convinced himself a wooden mask would solve all his problems, and pranced about the realms until he found a sufficiently mysterious bauble to fit the bill. Mask probably doesn't do anything at all. Yeah, 
Probably. Do not worry about me!
In there. When I was in Asgard, I saw Odin do something to some new Einherjorn. He seemed kind of mindless until he cast a spell that restored their identity. Aye, that was his habit, even when they were confined to Valhalla. I think letting them remember themselves was another small way of cheating death any way he could. Though I wouldn't be surprised if with that small gift of autonomy, he also embeds an undying personal loyalty to himself. Great. You gonna check in on Freya? Yes. Glad I get to come this time. So what happened the last time you were in Van Arn? I still don't know how you got Freya to stop trying to kill you. We traveled to her village to break Odin's spell. Once freed, she accepted that I was not her enemy. You also missed a highly entertaining moment where Brock was lifted ass over face in Freya's camp. You met Freya? What's he like? Different from his sister. Lacks her conviction. True. And he's a bit quicker to forgive. And an ineffective leader. But his heart's in the right place. You'll like him, lad. Wow. It's beautiful. And, uh, wet. It is also dangerous. More dangerous than hell? camp is to the right. No rush, is there? Not every day the lad gets to see a new realm. To Freya's camp, then. Time to see how the Vanir have fared in our absence. I hope Freya's okay. She can care for herself. We're still checking on her, though? Her brother's forces are outnumbered, and there is much I owe her. Perhaps straight on? everyone stay alert I don't like this brother
anyone left their food. It's still warm. Kratos, Atreus, a welcome reunion. Unexpected, but welcome. You know us? Can't be. Is that who I think? Oh, you shifty bastard. It's almost good to see you again. And for once in the shape of a man, or nearly. So that's how they got your head out of your ass. Maybe now you'll stop being such a half-blind, tish-drunk, oversexed liar. He was more of a pig than I ever was. I do not know you. Do you not recognize your handiwork? Hildas Beanie! Remember when we first met Frey in the woods? After I... Oh... I am so... so sorry about that. Freya's poor. Her advisor... and friend. Counselor to the Vanir. And yes, while exiled at Midgard, I was trapped in my boar form. And then you shot me. At my command. No. My arrow, my mistake. Forgotten. Vanaheim needs our help more than ever. Even Mimir's. Come. Just watch where you aim that bow of yours. My hide's not so thick in this form. We can head out whenever you're ready. Where are we going? I have a favor to ask. I'll explain on the way. Over here. Where is Freya? She came here to help her brother. She leads the search party for Freya and Bigvir. They've been captured by the Ainher Yard. How did that happen? An ambush. The presence has intensified since your last visit. To make matters worse, the Celestial Wolves haven't been seen in days. Or at least I assume. Not easy, tracking time with no moon in the sky. No moon. 
just like in their shrine. Their shrine? It's a long story. You want us to check on them? You have my gratitude. We're spread thin. And if anyone can help Skoll and Hato, it'd be a fellow giant. Very well. Freya mentioned you had a way past this. You don't disappoint. Continue down this path and you'll find their den. Good luck. And don't shoot any boars. I think he's really forgiven me for shooting him. Trust me, lad. The old swine still carried a grudge. You'd know it. What happened between you two? The usual. Miscommunication, conflicting loyalties, broken promises. Nothing to concern yourself with. I'm not concerned. Just curious. Curiosity's all well and good. But so is privacy, eh? Okay, okay. Point taken. Take it off, man. 
that. You got that. There. That did it. It can't. Feels so different from the other realms. It's warm, like Spartalfon, but there's a kind of thickness in the air. Mm. Egros. Uh, what? Egros. Greek. For humid. Egros. I like it. where they went eaten by a knockin perhaps doubtful
Going for more loot, huh? I saw a forge back at Freyer's camp. Has Brock been helping them out this whole time? Ah, you haven't met Lunda yet. Who's Lunda? An old contemporary of the Huldra brothers. She serves as Freyr's blacksmith, keeping his team armed and outfitted. Oh, another legendary blacksmith? I bet she has some good stories. Take caution, Atreus. What? Why? She is quite... friendly. <laughs> oh, nonsense. The lad's far too young for her taste. Uh, <laughs> what? You know, lad, this excursion into Vanai means you've now visited each of the Nine Realms. Huh. Guess you're right. Not many mortals can claim such a feat. Not many gods either. Even your father has yet to grace the halls of Asgard. I'm in no hurry to do so. Hildas Vini said Freyr and Bigvir were captured. Who's Bigvir? He's a Light Elf, a former scholar exiled from Alfheim with his wife Bela. She may be their best warrior. Why was he exiled? You'll have to ask him for the full tale. But I take it that he and Bela's quest to unite their people was frowned upon. Wait, Bela's a dark elf? Yes. Wow. Well, that raises even more questions. Hope he's okay. Aye, not a good sign. They've pushed farther into the jungle since our last visit. <laughs> Ha! 
I can sense them up there. It's gotta be their den. <laughs> Excited to meet Skull and Hattie, lad. I mean, I've heard all your stories. It's gonna be weird meeting them in person. Legend meeting reality. At the very least, it shouldn't fail to entertain.
They're sleeping. Well, there you have it. The legendary celestial wolves. Supremely entertaining, as promised. Remember their shrine? They didn't rejoin the sky until after the moon returned. And then chased an arrow across the sky. Right. Well, guess we go find the moon and put it back where it belongs, eh? As if that's a perfectly normal thing to say. The Aenor Yard played a part according to Skolanati Shrine. Managed to stuff the moon inside a box, if memory serves. But it didn't say where they took the box. Aye, that's the rub of using prophecy as a map, isn't it? Bit sparse on the details. There's a war camp in the nearby village. A strong fortress to guard their bounty. We will try there first. I told Desvini and the elves. Who else is part of Freyr's army? Not much army, really. Although Beergirl was a soldier, once walking the path of a traveler. I imagine he's handy with that enormous broken sword of his. A traveler that doesn't want to kill us. That's nice. Oh! So besides Hildesvini and the elves, who else was part of the <laughs> on? Not much army, really. 
Follow a beer girl with a sword. Once walking the path of a traveler. I imagine he's handy with that enormous broken sword of his. A traveler that doesn't want to kill him. Did you see that? I didn't know they could do that. A new enemy. Stay alert. Yeah? Correct. There she is again. Guess they know we're coming. I can't believe no one's here. They hide. The Vanir aren't all hardened warriors <laughs> like our dear Freya. Those who survive the warfare find it easier to hide in the jungle and use nature as their shield.
I bring it down. We strike. Yep. Wait, there's the moon. Uh, box? Down there. That's gotta be it. This is definitely an ambush. Yes. We can get to it from up here. Oh, 
that puts them down to Odin's forces, at least for the time being. I don't think Asgard's running out of soldiers anytime soon. Ready to put the moon back where it belongs? Okay, yeah. That is a weird thing to say. Times the charm. They are not smart. I understand that. You know, what we're doing right now, all of this, it's almost exactly how we saw it play out back in Stolen Hati Shrine. The wolves are back in Vanaheim. We're rescuing the moon. Yes. I remember the prophecy. So, doesn't it make you worried? If everything we're doing now happened in the Yonar Shrine? Remember our agreement. Prophecy will not dictate our actions. Yeah. Our allies need help. That is our focus now. Whoa! What is that? A wagon! Nasty beast! Careful, wives! <laughs> Yeah! 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 Yeah!
Cold. Is this? It's from Helheim. Heimdall must have grabbed this while I freed Garm. Uh, I was there, but I, I didn't know. And now you fight to undo the damage. Your guilt is misplaced. Yeah. No, you, you're right. We can return to the den through here. They will pursue. Keep your guard up. Father, how are you so sure we even have a choice about what we're doing? Doubt is a weakness we cannot afford. Who said anything about doubt? So far, we've done everything the giant said we would. We make our own choices. Nothing forces us.
What if, by doing all this, what if we're walking straight into Ragnarok? Isn't there any way to avoid fate? Your fate? What if we can't stop you from... Would you turn your back on the wolves? On this realm? Remember our agreement. does make some good points, though. As long as Atreus lives, so be it. There's nothing. Just like inside their shrine. If I do this... Fate only binds you if you let it. Do what is necessary. Not because it is written. to call them anytime we need them. Feels like they want us to use it at one of the altars. Huh. Perhaps Freya will know. So in essence, they just gave us the keys of dusk till dawn. Not bad for a day's work. We should head back to Hildespini and tell him about all this. Yeah? Yes. Back to the camp. <laughs> 